Hi, I'm Tony Mulder with Dactronics. We're here on site at Target Field, taking a look at all the new video displays that we installed this past season, uh, affectionately called Scoreboard 2.0. Come take a look. The first display that fans see when they walk up to beautiful Target Field is the new ticket window display. Ticket window display shows a little bit of everything. It talks about upcoming events, upcoming games, upcoming concerts. This new display is about four times higher resolution than the one that was here previously. Much brighter, much bigger, much better. Come on inside, we'll take a look at the other displays. Are you ready? First display that we see coming in through gate 29 next to the team store is a brand new display that we put up for this season on the main concourse. So this display is a very high resolution display, does the team lineups, does the box score, some promotions, some advertising, really brings a lot of color and a lot of information into a very, very large space. On the opposite side of that is a brand new out-of-town scoreboard. They decided to change the location of the out-of-town scoreboard for this year. Instead of having it in one location where most of the fans could see it, they decided to put it in two different locations so that everybody in the ballpark had a good view of an out-of-town scoreboard. We're up in Truly on Deck, which has a number of older Dactronics displays that have been used for a few years, but it's a great space that really allows the fans to be connected to the game of baseball and to Target Field without being actually out into their seats. The display behind the bar is capable of showing a multitude of different uh, baseball games, including the one that's going on on the field, as well as all the statistical information, lineups, standings within uh, the different divisions, a lot of different information that really keeps those fans engaged. And over on the side, there's another video board that's used for presentations and really just a, a, a larger shot of the game that is going on on the field right up here in Truly On Deck. So it's a great place to keep the fans engaged with the game of baseball without being in their seat on the field. We're over behind left field at the Grey Duck Lounge. And this is an installation for Dactronics that's a few years old. It's a combination of both four and six millimeter technology. And it's used to show videos of games, again, advertising for Grey Duck itself and just a really cool space to hang out and, and uh, overlooking the outfield to be able to see the game. We've made it over to Schneiderman's Lawn, which is just inside of Gate 34. One of the major trends that we're seeing in ballparks is the implementation of green space to be able to spread out, to enjoy yourselves, let the kids run around a little bit. And next to Schneiderman's Lawn, we have a display up in the marketplace, which is a 10 millimeter display, which is used for advertising and promotions of everything that's going on inside the marketplace itself. Another new display that we installed for the 2023 season is a large vertical display also adjacent to Schneiderman's Lawn. This display is used to entertain everybody that's actually in this green space. The display is used to show multiple games, it shows line score, and it gives it the ability for people who are enjoying themselves over here in the green space to be able to be caught up on the action and know exactly what's going on for this game and for others. One of the most unique displays that we did this past offseason at Target Field is the 80-foot tower that is behind right field. It's a display that is used to show player images. It can show uh, statistics, animation, and really keeps the fans engaged with a lot of different excitement and, and cool content that, that they put on there. It is a four-sided display, so you can see that from any direction, including outside the ballpark. And it really is a beacon to bring everybody toward Target Field and, and to really celebrate the game of baseball here at, at Target Field. We've made our way down onto the field here at Target Field and wanted to show off one of the new trends that we're seeing in, in uh, large baseball facilities, baseball parks. And that's the new displays that you're seeing that are on the front fascia of dugouts. These displays are, are again, a newer idea. You're seeing them be very high resolution, mostly for television, advertising, television exposure, be able to show everything from branding, advertising, everything to just bring a little bit more liveliness to the game. Another new trend that we're seeing in Major League Baseball stadiums and collegiate baseball stadiums is the new medium that they're using behind home plate for advertising. For years, it was a scrolling display or maybe a fixed advertising panel, and now everything is being changed to LED to be able to give you more revenue, to be able to change those advertisers more often. Just gives you a lot more flexi flexibility for the, uh, for the advertisers behind home plate. Two new displays that we installed for the 2023 season is the new field wall display, which is roughly 12 foot by 110 foot, and the new bullpen display, which is about 20 foot wider than its predecessor. Both of those displays are some of the largest in Major League Baseball, used to inform and entertain uh, all of the fans. The bullpen information is used for the upcoming pitchers, it's used for pitch counts, and all the statistical information for pitchers from both teams. The large field wall display is used mostly for messaging, promotion, sponsorship activation, 
and utilizing uh, just a great space for everybody, for almost everybody inside the ballpark to, to see. Certainly the centerpiece of the Target Field Scoreboard 2.0 project are the main video boards. The large board is just over 10,000 square foot. The smaller board is just over 1,600 square foot. It's really the one place where the fan can get all of the information on the game and uh, probably more information than they've ever thought possible in terms of uh, baseball statistics. Those displays are true HDR displays, high dynamic range. The colors are so much more vivid than what was here previously or previously available in the industry. And it really gives you colors that are very close to the, the depth of what the human eye can actually see. Last but certainly not least is the multitude of ribbon displays that surround Target Field, both on the infield and on the outfield. They're used for messaging, promotions, line scores, closed captioning, basically everything to keep the fans entertained and informed throughout the game. They're not the largest of displays in, within the ballpark, but they're certainly one of the most important. Thanks for following along on our quick tour of Target Field Scoreboard 2.0. Everything looks great on camera, but you can't really experience it until you come and see it for yourself. Come on out to Target Field.